I'm in a cabin in northern Canada. I'm burning, cutting, building, fishing, no! and struggling. It broke. So this right here is my first significant power tool. It's a, uh, it's a miter saw. And mom's uh, partner, Jerry, said I definitely need one if I'm going to be expanding and building onto this cabin. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And uh, I've never used one before. I just watched a little bit of YouTube about how to use it. And so it looks pretty straightforward. It really does. Um, but uh, you know, I, I you know I I have to be very careful. Obviously, it's a very powerful tool. You know, this channel isn't about a guy going out into the woods and building a cabin. You know, with really rudimentary tools. You know, it's not like a primitive thing. It's not uh, my self reliance who's like using you know hand drills and whatever and hand saws and everything is like natural from. The woods there will be some of that but really this is about me learning how to be a man <laughs> that's the easiest way to put it and i know that these things can be really dusty but i'm going to try it inside just to see how it goes it comes with this clamp and this clamp is not going to work for me i need to uh i have other clamps here that i'm going to have to use because this, my table is just like a, a dining room table or like a little kitchen table or whatever. And it's got this uh, piece of wood coming down that is stopping me from being able to use this clamp. So I'm going to have to use uh, clamps that I have. Now, one of the big issues I might run into is the generator situation. Does my generator have enough power to run this thing? If not, then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll have to sell my generator and get a bigger one. But I don't wanna do that. I like that little generator. So let's put it to the test. <laughs> I'm nervous this thing is just gonna kill my generator. All right, I need glasses. Easy! Yes, I've got enough power. This stuff isn't cheap, and uh, but I know that I need it. And in the long run, it's gonna be really, really worth it. And I'm hoping it's just gonna make my life a real pleasure uh, while I'm out here over the coming years, fixing things and, 
and, and so you're going to hear the sound on my channel. You will hear it, but I'll try to limit it because no one wants to hear something screaming at them over and over and over again. Now I don't have everything I need right now for this, but I'm going to use this, uh, this like corner cupboard here as something just to level my pieces of wood for today. are in the way. Hmm. I know what I'll do. I'm going to clamp the other side. That'll do the trick right there. Okay. So this is only a seven and a quarter inch piece of wood. It's, it's like, a, they call it two by eight, obviously it's not. And so you can see I'm short. So I wonder what's happening here. Okay, for now I flipped the piece of wood. So the max width, even though it's a 10 inch miter saw, the max width it can cut is 6.1 inches. The majority of the wood I will be using will be two by six, so I feel okay about that. I'm salvaging as much of the wood that was left here by the previous owners. Uh, it's, it's around the cabin, uh, there's quite a bit of it, and these uh, four by fours here, I'm gonna use them as legs for the bed frame. Well, you can see that it's putting a bit of a strain on the generator right now. The lights cut out when uh, I turn it on. I don't think it's great. Uh, let me know in the comments if having a generator do that, if that's, uh, that's going to ruin my generator. If you guys like this kind of video, you know, just a guy out in the woods in a cabin, uh, messing around, trying to figure things out, I would love for you to subscribe. So many people who watch this channel are not subscribers. I remember in my early, early videos, being really proud of getting 500 subscribers. And that was a, a milestone for me and it meant a lot. And here I am now almost at 200,000. And I just think 80% of the people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. That would be a million subs. That's, that's when you start thinking about, okay, I'm gonna be a full-time YouTuber. And uh, you know, that's, that's the ultimate dream. This is a nice little reward here. I got some pork, some vegetables, tzatziki to dip everything in. This is probably the healthiest meal I've had on this channel. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is probably the healthiest meal I've had on this channel in a year. Mmm. like envision this I just thought about it and I feel like what I want to do will work
I'm not going to finish this bed tonight for sure. I don't know if the floor is uneven or if my cuts are uneven, but this side is like a little wonky. So, I know there's probably a million ways to do this. And uh, I, I know I need to put, like once I lay the bed across there, there's a chance that the bed will want to dip in the middle. So I'm going to put some legs in the middle and I might actually put plywood and that's it I'm gonna end up sleeping in a cot tonight it's really really late it's past midnight I gotta hit the sack I'll see you guys in the morning This, uh, this log has been here for about four days and I put it right over top of an ice fishing hole and uh, the idea is it insulates the hole from the really really cold air like there's water in the hole all the way up to the top and this cold air will hit that water and it'll freeze and it'll be you know solid ice in no time especially when it's really cold out. <clears throat> and I want to see if this piece of wood um, was able to insulate the hole to a point where I don't need to uh, drill very deep with my auger. I think the water is uh, just a little below. That log definitely helped. Without a doubt, it helped. And uh, I didn't have to go down very deep at all. The ice here is about four feet thick. I probably went down about two feet. So what I'm doing today is I'm putting a minnow on this lure. And I feel like, let's see. The flavor will get the pike coming, the smell in the water. And it's like a double, a double threat here. I don't have a tremendous amount of experience ice fishing. Like I've done it maybe a couple dozen times in my life. Someone told me in the last video that you jig a couple times and then you wait and let it pause jig a couple times let it wait so I'm gonna try that once I get down to the bottom here I was taught early in my ice fishing days when I when I was younger to go down to the to the bottom and then come up a little bit like have your have your bait whatever it is touch the bottom and then come up just a little bit maybe about a foot off the floor of the lake. And it's pretty decently deep here. See, I've touched the bottom there. So I'm going to come up a little bit. I'm going to jig a couple times. And I'm going to stop. 
jig a couple times, and then stop. And let's see if uh, this improves my chances. Because, man, pike is delicious. Okay, I got a fish. Definitely got a fish. I don't think he's a big one. If he's too little, I'm sending him back. Oh, it's a pike, for sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There. And he can keep the minnow. What are, you see that? Like little worms. Yeah, there he goes, see he's moving. Interesting. I don't know, man. Like what are those, are those worms? That guy's making a run for it, he's going back into the water. He's trying to figure it out. You guys know what that is? I'd love to hear if that means the pike was unhealthy or does that mean it's just like, like is that natural? I dropped this tree this winter and uh, it's been out here for the last few days and I've just been waiting to come back and to finish the job. There's no way I'm leaving this down without taking all of that wood. For some reason, for some reason I, it might be this chainsaw, it really might be this chainsaw, but for some reason she's always cutting on an angle, always, no matter what. The longer it is, the more on an angle the cut is. That chainsaw is struggling, and uh, I have a husky, but it seized. It seized on me. I think it might be kaput. Certainly, I think I'd feel a lot better if I had a steel or a husky out here, and I know that the cuts would be straight. When I used to go and collect all of my lumber, I did it with a, uh, a husky, and uh, that thing was like a weapon out there. And uh, I had a friend who once said, I told him I had a champion and I was going out cutting trees and he said, just like you're bringing a knife to a gunfight. None of this stuff is cheap, right? Like if you're gonna get into cabin life, uh, you, you need the tools and um, they can be expensive. But when you have the proper tools, man, it's, it's, it's the best, right? It feels great. And even just having that, that chop saw, miter saw now is, is like wicked. It's like, wow, I can, really make quick work of the lumber. Mmm. Yes. I love mustard on a sausage. Mmm. Is there a trick when cutting with this kind of saw to stop that from happening?
I love you guys for teaching me this trick. Like that's, it's making my life so much easier cutting like this. The trick being lifting and lowering this plate, exposing more of the blade or less of the blade. Like, oh, where is it? I know I talked about it in my last video, but it really is a game changer for me and I really appreciate it. All I want to do is get it up the hill. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I have a feeling it's going to want to it's going to want to tip off, but if I can even just drag it up with the power of the snowmobile, so much easier than carrying it. That works surprisingly well. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's jammed. He's jammed good. I just don't think this is going to work. I don't see it happening. Like all my body weight isn't enough. I need a proper pulley system, eh? I think that's what a lot of you guys are going to say to me. If you have any tips. The problem is I can carry it up the stairs, but I just can't get it up because the stairs are so narrow. Come on. See, I'm caught. I'm caught. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. So close. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. No. It broke. It broke. Oh, no! Don't break. Don't break. Come on! Come on! Yes! Oh! Yes! 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 Just a sleeping bag for me tonight. In the bed, in the loft. First time ever sleeping up here. I've slept out here maybe a dozen times already this winter, maybe more. Um, and I've always slept downstairs next to the stove. I like having access to the stove. And when I extend this cabin, I'm gonna have like a room that's gonna be close to the stove and that's where I'll sleep. And when I, when I come back next time, I'm gonna have a really nice blanket set and a homemade blanket that I think a lot of people back home in uh, Labrador will appreciate.
Well, that's it for this video, everybody. I had a wonderful time, as I always do, coming out here. And uh, I accomplished some stuff, right? I, I used a new, uh, a new tool, a new power tool, and I really enjoy it. I made a bed frame. I was able to pull that mattress up, uh, and it was not easy, <laughs> as you guys saw there. And uh, I had some delicious food. And uh, I'm hoping to be back really soon. And uh, the plan is to have my puppy come out with me and Crystal at some point really soon as well before the, the winter season ends. I'm not gonna promise it, but I'm really hoping that that's gonna happen soon. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for her to come here and just to enjoy the cabin. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back really soon.